Yo, what is up guys? Natasha here and in my hand, I have a really cool phone! This is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. Now, I don't know about you guys, but don't you just love how this phone looks? Triple rear camera setup, dual selfie camera. Man, my selfie keeps on being on point. I can have a wide-angle selfie, can see the background, put my friends into the photo. Pick out friends, don't tell Abel, Isabel, and Joseph that we are gonna go on adventure. I wanna try out this phone and see how it performs outside. So, let's go on adventure. guys that was a really really fun experience we went to broga hill can you believe that i haven't left the house in like it was like my first hike in a long time and man was it painful but it was really cool because we got to try out the phone we took lots of photos lots of videos i got some vlog footage in that in there as well but you know what let me just talk to you about the photos first so the photos they came out beautiful obviously i mean what can you expect from a flagship phone like samsung for sure so we started the day at like 6 a.m and it was still dark out so we took some photos here and there of the background of us in the car and everything and photos were really really awesome you could see everything everything was there it wasn't too overexposed it was like the perfect setting to show you that we're here at night outside but here's everything you can see it was perfect so if you guys didn't know this phone actually has dual aperture which means this regardless of what situation it's in it can switch in between this phone actually will help you find the perfect setting for the perfect shot for you speaking of being a new photographer I myself am a new photographer and sometimes I'm taking a photo of like someone or a scene the phone will actually give you this thing called shot suggestion it will show you where exactly you should point your camera at to get the best photo. So one thing that's really cool about this phone that's just perfect for Broga Hill was the wide angle lens, okay? So you wanna take so many beautiful scenery shots, but sometimes your camera just can't take in the whole thing. That's where your wide angle lens come in. It shows off everything. You don't have to move so far as well. You know what? I'm just telling you, if you guys are ever gonna go on a trip with so much beautiful scenery, landscapes, or anything like that, use that lens for sure. Now, if you want your perfect Instagram photo I recommend using the live focus I love that because okay so usually it's like a bokeh kind of effect right you have like the blurred background but sometimes it's not perfect this one gets it right and I love that and in addition to that you also get four different background filters for it so I'm gonna talk about each one for you guys here so for spin your background looks like it's spinning and zoom looks like you're moving at 100 miles per hour and color point this one's my favorite you can actually just choose yourself to be the thing or the subject in color and the rest will be like black and white i know super cool so the selfie camera for the s10 plus comes with two lenses which is really cool because you can have a wide angle lens and a normal lens for this and i like that because especially when you're going on trip to broga here like this you want to take a photo of self and the background and i can never seem to get enough background and too much of my face it's always like that and i don't like that so when i don't like that i want to have more of the background i just switch to the wider lens and i see everything in the back there all right guys if you guys are curious to see more of the photos here are some photo samples of the adventure we took today just have a look at So yesterday, I took a bunch of um, vlog footage I wanted to do for, you know, for our video. And what I really liked about this is the 4K selfie recording. It was very beautiful. So now the benefit of 4K is the, obviously the video quality. Everything is much sharper, more vibrant, and it gives you a lot more to work with, especially when you're editing the video. This is everything in one now. The super steady shots I took with the phone was beautiful. It was perfect. It wasn't shaky because you can imagine, I'm climbing out a mountain here, okay? But when I looked at the video again, it was as though it was smooth, it didn't give me a headache looking at it, it was wonderful. Anyways, if you guys want to kind of have a comparison of how this phone looks like with a super steady shot and without, you can have a look here. Alright guys, I managed to kidnap Abel here. So, uh, I mean, like many of you don't know, but I play with phones like all year round. And between this ultrasonic fingerprint and other fingerprints, right, is that Samsung really nailed this one. Yeah, as in, uh, you get your fingerprint, right? So, let's try unlocking it, right? Touch the sweet spot there. Oh, I don't See? need to un I don't need to turn on the screen. You don't need to turn on the screen. So, just straight away, 
touch on the sweet spot and unlocks immediately. Speaking of that, right, yesterday when we climbed up, my hand was like so muddy and dusty and sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I was still able to unlock it super fast as well, yeah. which was super nice. Let me just tell you guys about the fingerprint scanner. It's pretty cool because my hand is filled with sweat dust and mud because I fell over so much climbing up and the phone still manages to your fingerprint. Here, I'll show you guys. Check it out. See what I tell you? Pretty cool, right? And that's it, guys. That's what we thought of the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus during our adventure over at Broga Hill. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll be bringing you on other adventures to different from. Bye! Okay, bye!